Hello and welcome. You are watching I Know How. Today I'm going to show you how to fix a Samsung tablet not charging or not uh, displaying anything. It's a black, blank screen. Before we begin, please press the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for the instant updates. Today I'm using a Samsung Galaxy Tab A6 which has a model number of um, SSMT5800. Um, you can try this trick on all the Samsung Galaxy Tabs, uh, all the Samsung uh, mobile phones and uh, also you can try it on any Android uh, devices. First of all, if your Samsung Galaxy Tab or Samsung device is uh, Android device is not uh, booting up by pressing after pressing the power button, or um, if nothing is happening when you connect your power up, connect your USB charger, first I will show you a software trick, and I will also show you the hardware trick. Okay, the first one then. Try to press the power button for more than 10 seconds. If it doesn't do anything, let's try pressing the power and volume down button. So you can see that it's starting now. What this button combination does is reset your hardware and uh, try to reboot it so anything any software issues or any uh, uh, application that is uh, stopping your android device to start by pressing power button and volume down button it will reset everything and will try to um, start your android devices if uh, those uh, two key combination power button and volume down button does not help you then there is another method uh, in which you have to press <coughs> power button volume down and home button all the three button together for 10 seconds and what it will do is take you to the screen where you can factory reset the operating system of this uh, Android tablet and then you can install the OS of the Android and it will wipe out everything so you will not um, like to do that but still it's a trick to uh, turn on your Android devices but I'll show you how to do that now so hold press and volume down and home button you're gonna do that for 10 seconds you can see that this screen pops up so it says that warning a custom OS can cause so it says that warning a custom OS can cause critical problems in phone and install application if you want to download a custom OS press the volume up key so if you want to uh, install a custom OS which means a flashed OS or you can say if you want to flash your opening Android device then you can do that but um, for this instance since we just want to reset our uh, android device and just we just want to like restart the phone in case the previous method didn't work so in that case in that case we're gonna do volume down which says cancel and restart phone so we press that now it now it's booting up as normal as you can see that Samsung logo is uh, loading up now there you go the tablet seems to be fixed now um, everything is working fine 
that's the second method and lastly if all, both of these two steps doesn't work then you might have to do a hardware reset in which case you have to disconnect the battery uh, and connect the battery again um, to do that let's go ahead and turn off the all those uh, power button volume down home button uh, button combination we have all we have tried all, all of them and it's still not powering up then what can be issued is that um, the battery connector may be loose the screen connector may be loose or any some sort of anything something happen inside the tablet itself so for that we're gonna open this tablet uh, other many device many models have different um, way to open it but uh, on this particular de device uh, there is a uh, no screw at the back so straight away let's uh, remove the back cover which if you can see that mm, from there that's a back cover. from there that's a back cover if you follow the back cover it's gonna be up there and then there's a screen bezel and then this glass screen, screen glass so take a spudger and push this one out it's gonna be trickier in the corners try to push it That's how you take off the back cover. All right, so our back cover is off now. So this is your battery connector, which comes from battery to that point. Uh, this is your LCD connector, which comes from your LCD to here. Um, your home button connector is this one sometimes uh, uh, your home button might not be working or lose that it might uh, those button combination you can't use it and this one is a digitizer connector so if your touch screen is not working then it might be loose and rest of them as you can see this one is a camera connector this was a front camera I still know and this one is the front camera okay then let's i'll show you how to disconnect the um, battery connector and then i'll show you how to disconnect and connect this connector as well first one battery connector remove the tape and lift this flap and pull the connector like this leave it there we're gonna connect it later take the tape out of the LCD connector and then lift this very small flap over there and then pull the connector that's it that's off so this is a home button connector again tape off flap up and pull the connector that's it so check if they are clean enough all the connectors are clean and 
nothing major damage on it like a water spill or anything just now we're gonna go connect it other way around first the home button and then LCD connector push it in to this line the white line and then put on the flap try to be very gentle with these connectors because um, they are very tiny bits and you might damage the flaps or the connectors and lastly the battery connector again there is a white line to help you to make it straight and then the flap and the tape at the end so these are the three connectors that's uh, that is helpful to check disconnect and connect again uh, one more one more cable you can disconnect and connect is if you see this uh, home button flex if you follow it down one more cable you can disconnect and connect is if you see this uh, home button flex if you follow it down there so that is your actual home button uh, board and this flex come down and connect to this board so it's a good to disconnect this it's better to disconnect this check the connector again and connect it back that's done so usually what happens is like uh, when you drop your tablet or mobile device these connectors might get loose um, and that might cause it to not boot up your tablet not perform the way you want it to be performed so now I'm gonna put the backup back cover now to put the back cover on simply place it on align it and just start pressing from the top you can hear a snapping noise but don't get afraid this is how they get hold together and there is one more snap over there just try to press that or if it's already been pressed that's fine that's it now press the power button let's see if it boots up there you go so that was the last trick the hardware one um, the first one I show you is a software one in which you press power button and volume down that just restart the device and the second one is power button volume down and home button all together in for 10 seconds which uh, give you an option to factory reset the whole device you might lose all your data but when you go into that menu just cancel it just restart your device and that will fix your tablet not charging and not displaying anything on the screen and if both of them doesn't work then there's a hardware fix which you have to physically disconnect the battery and connect it back or disconnect the display screen lcd screen cable or home button cable and connect them back
so that's it guys uh, this was the ultimate video for how to fix your tablet not charging and uh, black screen of that if you have any questions or comments please leave them in the comments section and if you have enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe below to keep up with more upcoming videos hit the bell icon have a good time until next video see you then bye bye